Today I got back cards from PSA. What's up guys, we're back with another PSA return video. And yes, these are always very emotional. Either we're angry, we're sad, we're very happy, you know, stuff like that. We do have a giveaway before we get into the emotion though. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card graded. What do you think about the grading process, all that stuff, because I know you guys have an opinion on this. First, we're gonna go to the part where I pre-graded every card in here. I think there's five total cards, and then we'll flash back to where we're actually opening. Let's check out these cards that we're going to be grading. First off, we have the Serpent Night Dragon. You guys saw this in the mail video. It's been a while probably by the time you actually see this because this will all be in the same video. But man, this card looks really nice. Check it out. The front surface looks really good. The centering looks pretty good. The back surface looks awesome. This guy has a potential PSA 10. I'm going to predict that we get the PSA 10 on this thing. I think it deserves it. It's a pretty nice card. Let's leave it back up. Next, we have a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. So if you look at the centering on this one, this is not completely perfect. It's a little bit thicker on the left side. However, the surface looks really nice. The Secret Rare looks really nice. The back. Oh, wait. Whoa. What is that? You guys see that? Oh, there's like a, a dent or something in it. Maybe we shouldn't grade this guy. I don't know. Maybe we will and see what happens. I don't know. It would probably get... This is one of the things that would probably end up getting at like a 6 or a 7 if you guys see that. Maybe we should test it out and just see what it gets. So it has a little bit of a dent in it. Nice secret. Row. We'll find out. I can't tell if it's a dent or if it's just like a line. All right. So with that, honestly, I'm going to predict... I think we're still going to send it in just to sort of an experiment for fun. I think it's going to get like a 6 to 7. My official prediction, I'm going to go with 6 on this thing. And we'll see if it comes through and is accurate. Next, we have a thousand dragon this is faded so it'll be interesting to see what it gets last time we submitted faded we got a six on our gate guardian we'll see if that happens again this time there's a little bit of a splotch right there you guys can see it's like not as faded right there and then the rest of the card's pretty faded so there is some silvering up top i think that's probably going to take off of it secret rare is pretty nice um is that a little what is going on over there Maybe a little line right there and then the back surface is pretty nice so honestly i'm gonna guess because it's faded, there is silvering. I'm going to go with an eight. That's what I'm going to guess. Next, we have a Time Wizard, another faded card. It's going to be interesting to see how they grade these. On this side, it's, there's a little bit of splotching right there. You guys see that? Not sure exactly what's going on there, but the faded stuff often has some weird stuff going on with it. The back surface is pretty nice. I think that, okay, we get those off. The back surface looks pretty good. Overall, this card's pretty nice. I think it's going to get a 9 due to whatever is going on right there with those dots. And also, it's faded. So, I think 9 is what we're looking at. I'm going to go with 9 unless they knock it down to an 8 because it's faded. And finally, we have the one and only Secret Rare Genzo. The centering is a slightly off. It's still not too bad on this guy. So, maybe he has the chance at 10 centering. Secret, the surface looks good. Secret Rare looks awesome. The back looks pretty good. It's pretty nice. Um... Trying to see if I can get everything. There is a little bit of a spot right there. I wonder if we can get that off. All right. I'm not sure exactly what that little dot is, but it doesn't seem to be coming off. So we have a pretty nice surface other than that. Centering is slightly off. I feel like they're going to give a nine on this one. I don't think it should be any lower than that. It could possibly even squeak out the 10. It's a pretty nice condition in Genzo first edition. So we will see what we get in this same video. So stick around. All right, guys, you guys saw what I predicted for the cards. They were all in pretty good shape, some of them better than others. So let's see if we can get some pretty nice grades here. I don't know. Can we? Can we not? Uh, sometimes we get good stuff. Sometimes we don't. It can be a little tricky uh, opening this up. And here's my P.O. box, by the way. Yeah, don't don't worry. That's my P.O. box. And uh, that is in the description if you guys are looking for it. Let's remove the cards. Five card order. So it looks like PSA is sleeving all the cards now from now on. This was an express order. It wasn't the super express where you get the nice sleeve. They're kind of a crappy sleeve, but still a good start. I think, what, which one do we start with? Is the first one? Is that going to be the Serpent Knight? We're about to find out. I don't know. No, that's the Genzo. Let's save that for last. Okay, let's go Genzo last. Let's take these out of the little sleeves because we want to be able to see everything, see what we think about the grade. You guys know how it goes here on PSA grading videos. I think all of these, where did these come from? Might have been from a collection. I can't remember. Let's check out the back. The back, we're going to check out every inch of these cards. You guys know how we do it. Sometimes people are like, hurry up and show the grade. I'm like, just use the skip button. That's the best thing to do if you don't like what we're doing here. But I like to check them all out. I know a lot of you guys like to check it all out and see if we think the grade was fair and all that stuff. So that's a little scuff there. 
This card looks pretty nice. Is this a Serpent Night Dragon? The Serpent Night Dragon was nice. Yes, it is. Okay, the Serpent Night Dragon was really nice. How's the centering look here? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's slightly faded, which is cool. I love this card. I do not own this in PSA 10. I did sell one of these for a guy, though. I did. I kind of wanted to buy it, but I was like, we have this one. Maybe we shouldn't. Let's see. What do we think? The corners here. I mean, the, oh, this card looks good. I think I predicted a 10 for this. Here we go. Yes, we did get a 10. Yes. I, so now I have the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon and the Serpent Night Dragon. I thought this was a really, really good candidate. This card looked really, really good. The value's not crazy on this card compared to like Blue Eyes Toon. I think it's around like $1,000. I could be wrong. It'll pop up on the screen. You guys will know. But I think this was well worth sending in. Okay, a good start. We love to see that. I thought that was probably the strongest card I graded. So there's a good chance that could be our only 10. Hopefully not because I think these are all in pretty good shape. But we're about to find out. I think they're still in order. So the back corners, wow, that is a sharp corner there. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Oh, man. Okay, surface is very hard to tell within the case, but I know all these surfaces were really nice. So we have, ooh, the blue eyes tune. How's the centering on it? If anything's going to do it in, I think it may be centering. It's not that bad, actually. It's not that bad. A little bit of a fade on this one. Let's check the corners. That corner looks good. We'll see if the corners look any different because I think I checked out the corners in the pre-grade as well. So if you guys see any like, you know, where it's been like dinged or something, you guys can let me know. That looks pretty nice. Surface looks pretty good. You guys will have seen a much better look at the surface in the pre-grade. Let's see. Um, Did we miss something? No. Was this the one that we found something and we're like... Uh, yeah, I think this, well, I hope it was this one. I think we found something and we're like, wait, is that a ding in there? The pre-grade, you guys will have seen it. You guys let, let, let me know because I can't remember. It's been like a couple of, three weeks ago, I think when I sent these. Maybe that, was there a little, there was a little thing on it. I can't remember. I can't remember. So I'm just going to assume that that was okay. Oh, six. Oh man. If there actually was a dent, it makes sense. But ooh, that's painful. That's painful. A little painful. That's okay. We already do have that in 10. So not like the biggest deal ever, but there's always a six. Every time there's a six. We're on to the next one. Who cares? We're, we're moving past it. All right. So uh, we got that corner, that corner. Man, that card looked minty too. So I must have like a ding or something. Wait, whoa. Wait, what is that? Is that a ding or is that, a, is that the sleeve? You guys see what I'm talking about? I got to look at it in the other light. You guys see that? I can't tell if that's the sleeve. It could be the sleeve. I'm not sure. This is, oh, the thousand dragon. I remember that this one was not perfect. It did have something going on with it. Maybe that's what it was. The top is at the edge. Maybe like slight whitening there. Corners look decent. I feel like this could get like really low because it's a faded card. You never know with these cards what they will grade them. I mean, this card is like, even if it has like a little ding, like this, the the surface is really nice on this card. Let's see. I eesh. Okay. I don't know what this is going to get. I hope it's really nice, but we will see. A near mint to mint eight. I actually think I predicted an eight. I think I predicted an eight on this. So that seems pretty fair because it is fate. I mean, I wouldn't say fair, but I understand why they did it because with the fade, I think there was a couple of things on the surface. That's probably why I got the eight. This card is really nice looking though. I really, it's just a nice display card. So, okay. Not too upset with that one, but I think I understand why it got an eight. Two more cards. I know we have Jinzo, obviously. We saw that earlier. I don't remember what the other card was. What was it? Um... Time Wizard. It was time. Oh, I think it's faded too. So we'll see if they give it an A too. I hope not. I don't have a Time Wizard PSA 10. So that would be a card that I would love to have, especially this coloring. It's going to be tough. They don't often grade these faded cards as 10s, which a lot of people will say, oh, they shouldn't. But this is actually how they came out of the pack. The factory had low ink. You know, it's actually a known thing. And it happens with a lot of Metal Raiders cards, a couple LOB and some other some other ones around there. But a really beautiful card. The surface is great on this card. The centering is a little off, I think. I honestly, uh, with how they graded the other one, I think that we have a chance of getting an 8. I would hope that it's better than that, but we'll see. Nine. Okay, that's not bad, actually. That's not bad. If this was not faded, I bet I would get a 10. But I think the fading really does factor into what they think about it a lot of the time. But man, that is a sweet nine. I will take that. I don't actually own this in PSA nine or eight or anything, actually. So I might actually keep this one for the collection, which is cool. I think I might keep the thousand dragon too. Because a lot of people are interested in those. I gotta decide if I want to sell them or not. But that man, that time wizard looks really good. Okay, on to the Genzo. So far we've gotten a 10, 9, 8, and a 6. So let's hope that this is not a 7. It's just another 10. Let's get our first repeat repeat as a 10. So Okay, top left, top right. Oh, hopefully that's on the case. It is, okay. And then bottom left, surface appears to be really good from what I can tell. Let's go like this. And, wow, okay. Centering looks pretty good, maybe slightly off. 
Secret Rare looks good. Beautiful, beautiful card. We love to see that. Genzo. PSA. What is it? 9? 10? I don't know. I have not looked. So <laughs> hopefully it's a 10. Hopefully it's a 10. Okay, let's see if we can see anything on the surface. Looks pretty good. I don't remember what the pre-grade was. It's going to be hard to get a 10 on this because oftentimes when they you know, have the big cards, it seems like less likely to get a 10. Let's see. Mint nine. Oh, okay. Okay, we got a nine on this one. That I mean, at least it wasn't like a six or something. A nine. So the centering is definitely not perfect on this card. So that is, if you guys check down here to here, it actually goes off centered pretty badly. So I think that that's pretty fair grade based on the centering. I think the rest of the card is very minty though. Just a really good one. I still have my 10, so I don't need another 10 theoretically, but very, very good card. Pretty good return overall. We did get a new card to my collection, PSA 10. So I'm extremely happy about that. Uh, we got a nine. We got this card. I mean, I'm probably keeping this card. This card looks absolutely awesome. We got this looks awesome as well. And then I mystery with this one, but I'm pretty sure I maybe found something in the pre-grade that's ringing a bell. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Hope you guys enjoyed this PSA return video. It's always fun to see these cards come back and hopefully I'll be able to grade more when they, you know, lower the prices. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Shout out to TCU, Trusted Cards, Tone Foe Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimi Gecko, Duelist Kingdom Cards, and Spanky McFarland. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.